CTV News with Ken Shaw and Michelle Dubay. Good evening. We begin with breaking news. Toronto police say they have foiled a plot to attack a West End school. A 17-year-old student is facing charges. Investigators allege the attack was to happen at Oakwood Collegiate yesterday. That's the anniversary of the Montreal massacre at Montreal's Ecole Polytechnique. The CTV's Tracy Tong has just arrived at the school. Tracy police have also seized an alarming cache of weapons, a machete, a hatchet, two swords, knives and arrows. Yeah, certainly can. Very, very disturbing and concerning for students and parents as well as the staff over at TDSB. Uh, they actually tell us that they were alerted to this Monday after school, sometime in the late afternoon, and then on Tuesday morning they were told by police that an arrest had been made. Here's more uh, from authorities. So the allegation that we're working with is that there was some manner of attack was scheduled to take place on December 6th, which, as you know, was the 27th anniversary of the, the massacre at Lacalle Polytechnique in Montreal. Now, the charges that have been laid against this youth who can't be identified in our provisions of the Youth Criminal Justice Act are uttering threats of bodily harm and uttering threats of death. Now, he appeared yesterday uh, in court for a bail hearing. Now, he was released on bail, but there is a, a set of stringent conditions that have been placed against him. It's scary stuff, and it really it tells the public that, you know, you you, you don't have to have bombs and pressure cookers and guns to hurt people. And this guy had things in his home that many people have in their home. They just don't have any intent in hurt, hurting anybody with them. Now, investigators say that they were alerted to this because of someone from the states reading a post about this on a blog site. And that post did make mention of the Montreal massacre. Again, yesterday was the 27th, 27th anniversary rather of the Montreal massacre at L'Ecole Polytechnique in which 14 female students were killed there. So certainly very disturbing for some students that I just spoke with who are just learning about all of these details of right now as we were talking to them. They say that it could have been a much worse situation. They're glad that this situation was stopped and they're also wondering who this 17 year old might be. The TDSB would only confirm to us that it is a TDSB student uh, that had uh, that was arrested uh, and also that they would not confirm whether he goes to this school or not. Now we also know that the TDSB sent home a letter this afternoon and it reads in part uh, some of you may have noticed a police presence at our school yesterday. They're, they were here to investigate a reported threat made toward the school. Earlier that day, officers contacted me to advise that they had arrested a person overnight in relation to that threat. As a result, it was not necessary to disrupt regular school routines. All students and staff are safe. So it was class as usual yesterday as that arrest was made well before school even started. The TDSB says that they will make counselors available if needed. Reporting live, I'm Tracy Tong. Back to you. Thank you, Tracy. Stay with us through the hour as we continue to gather more details on this breaking story. Returning to our top story now, a teenage suspect has been arrested in an alleged plot to attack Oakwood Collegiate. This is a live look at the school tonight. Police allege the teen had a machete and swords, and the attack was planned to coincide with the anniversary of the Montreal massacre yesterday. We'll have more from our Tracy Tong and reaction from students just ahead. Updating you now on our top story, an attack thwarted at a Toronto high school planned for the 27th anniversary of the massacre at Ecole Polytechnique. A 17-year-old boy has been charged. Our Tracy Tong joins us live now from Oakwood Collegiate, where police say that attack was supposed to have taken place. Tracy. Yeah, that's right. We're outside Oakwood right now, and some students who passed by earlier certainly say that they are disturbed by the details. Now, police say that they executed a search warrant at the home of a 17-year-old boy yesterday, and that's where they found a stash of weapons, a machete, a hatchet, swords, knives, arrows, computer equipment, as well as clothing that police believe would have been used to conceal these weapons if an attack were to be carried out at this school. Now, thankfully, police were able to intercept this and stop this before any sort of attack took place. Place. A letter, though, did go home with students of Oakwood today, and many students say that they are certainly disturbed to learn all of these details. All that was on the announcements was there's a threat to Oakwood, and we're going to be receiving a letter to go home to your parents or whatever. Like, no one actually knew anything. Not even the teachers could tell us what they actually knew. It's, it's scary because we weren't told this earlier today. We were just told that somebody got arrested, so it's like, that's scary. Very glad, and God's on our side. 
Police say that they were alerted to this by someone in the U.S. who saw a post on a blog site. They do believe that this person was acting alone, and they're asking anyone who has information on this to contact Toronto Police or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, I'm Tracy Tong. Back to you. Toronto police believe they have foiled an attack at Oakwood Collegiate. They charged a 17-year-old student with uttering threats of bodily harm and uttering death threats. This is a live look at the high school on St. Clair West. Police say they became aware last week of an attack planned for yesterday, planned to coincide with the anniversary of the Montreal massacre. Police went to the teen's home yesterday morning and seized several weapons. They allege they found a machete, hatchet, swords, knives, and arrows for a bow and arrow. The teen appeared in court. He can't be identified because of his age. In the, uh, the threat, he makes uh, reference to the massacre in Montreal. Um, so therefore, that uh, made our urgency even that much more greater. We were, because it was December the 6th was the, the anniversary date. Good evening. A 17-year-old is charged tonight after police are tipped off about an online threat to attack Oakwood Collegiate on the anniversary of the Montreal massacre. Just ahead, what weapons police seized at the teen's home? A disturbing story in the wake of the 27th anniversary of the Montreal massacre. Toronto police say a teen was plotting an attack on Oakwood Collegiate. It would have happened yesterday, the anniversary, if not for some sharp-eyed people surfing the web. We, we took it very serious based on the, the contents of the threat. We felt that uh, we needed to act quickly and, and that's what we did. Detective Len Nicholson says time was of the essence when the first call came in about this case last Thursday. Received a uh, tip from a person in the United States on the West Coast that there was a threat posted on a blog site. Now, according to a City News source close to the case, we're being told it was the FBI that was first alerted and that led to the arrest. According to Nicholson, they checked out the blog on a members-only site and it targeted Oakwood. And while it made no specific threat against women, it was still disturbing. In the, uh, the threat, he makes uh, reference to the massacre in Montreal. Um, so therefore, that uh, made our urgency even that much more greater we were, because it was December the 6th was the, the anniversary date. It's hard to forget, 27 years ago yesterday, Mark Lapine walked into Montreal's L'Ecole Polytechnique and killed 14 women before shooting himself. With that anniversary just days away, police contacted the school board and then they made a frightening discovery. Through the investigation, we were able to determine that the uh, source of the internet uh, blog was from the uh, Toronto District School Board. They managed to isolate a suspect, and early yesterday morning, they moved in on the 17-year-old suspect as he slept, seizing an arsenal of weapons. It looks like there's standard uh, machete and a hatchet, and uh, there were some other swords and some knives and stuff like that nothing that was that you couldn't purchase at a like a hardware store we've been working closely with toronto police uh and you know should anything need to be uh, changed moving forward we'll obviously talk about that tdsb spokesperson ryan bird says while they knew the suspect was still on the loose monday they felt police had the situation in hand and it was school as usual yesterday the students were told about the arrest and a letter was sent home today but it didn't give details of the plot. What do you think when you hear this? Though? That's, that's that's crazy, crazy. honestly. Like, especially our school, Oakwood's like a good school, you know. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it was the. Uh, it doesn't seem like a person in this school would be that. I know, like, I don't, I don't think anyone in the school would like, <laughs> be trying to do that, you know. Like. The suspect appeared in court yesterday morning on uttering threats charges. He was released on bail under what police say are strict bail conditions. But our city news source says the suspect was taken to a hospital after the bail hearing. Police are saying no matter what, the threat is over. We believe that he acted alone. We're still investigating to see if there's anybody else involved, but we don't believe there's any danger to the school or, or the students or staff that are going there at this time. As for the decision to grant bail, Detective Nicholson says that was made by the court and wouldn't comment. And the suspect returning to school, the TDSB, says they will follow the lead of police on that.
News. We are learning more details tonight about what Toronto police say was a planned attack on a West End school that was supposed to happen on the anniversary of the massacre at Montreal's Ecole Polytechnique. CTV's Tracy Tong is live at Oakwood Collegiate Institute tonight. Tracy, police have a suspect in custody. What more do we know? Well, Zoraida, because the accused is under the age of 18, his identity is protected by the Youth Criminal Justice Act, but police tell us that they arrested him while they were executing a search warrant yesterday morning at around 4 a.m., just hours before they believe he was planning to carry out an attack here at Oakwood Collegiate that was inspired by the Montreal massacre. Police believe they have stopped a planned attack on Oakwood Collegiate Institute. While searching a 17-year-old boy's home yesterday morning, police seized a number of items, including a machete, a hatchet, two swords, four knives, and arrows for a bow and arrow set. We believe that there was a great consideration that he might be going to do this, and, and um, that's why we had to react quickly and make sure that this was stopped. Police say the boy wrote in a blog post that he planned to carry out the attack on December 6th, the anniversary of the Montreal massacre at Ecole Polytechnique that saw 14 students killed. Police were alerted by a tipster from the U.S. West Coast and found the post was put online from a TDSB computer. With uh, the help of them, the Toronto District School Board um, IT security unit, which did an incredible job, they were able to determine where the computer was and we were able to determine who was using it. The TDSB confirms the accused is one of their students, but won't say which school he attends. The principal of Oakwood Collegiate sent a letter home. Some of you may have noticed a police presence at our school yesterday. They were here to investigate a reported threat made toward the school. Earlier that day, officers contacted me to advise that they had arrested a person overnight in relation to that threat. As a result, it was not necessary to disrupt regular school routines. All students and staff are safe. We we're just told that somebody got arrested, so it's like, that's scary. That's crazy. But yeah, that's some like United States like kind of stuff. Yeah. Police say the accused is not cooperating with the investigation, and the motive is unknown. It's scary stuff, and it really it tells the public that you know you you don't have to have bombs and pressure cookers and guns to hurt people. And this guy had things in his home that many people have in their home. They just don't have any intent in hurting anybody with them. The boy was released on bail under the supervision of relatives and is being monitored by police. And the boy is facing two charges, uttering threats of bodily harm and death. His next court appearance is scheduled for Tuesday, December 13th. Reporting live outside Oakwood Collegiate Institute, I'm Tracy Tongs. Right up back. To this is CBC Toronto News. Toronto police say they've been able to thwart what they call a planned attack at a Toronto high school. A 17-year-old boy is facing multiple charges tonight after he allegedly made threats online regarding Oakwood Collegiate. When police searched his home early yesterday morning, they found a number of weapons, including a machete. CBC's Adrian Chung is live outside the school for us. It's near St. Clair in Oakwood. So, Adrian, police say someone in the U.S. tipped them off about this. This investigation began from the U.S. when they were tipped off uh, by an online post, and that online post allegedly made threats against Oakwood Collegiate. Now, uh, police didn't detail what the specifics of that threat were, but they said that they were able to track where it was made, which was a school computer, and who was exactly logged onto it at the time that post was made. They tracked the team, and yesterday they searched his home, and there they found a number of weapons, like you said, including a machete, uh, multiple knives, as well as a bow and arrow set. Now, at this point, uh, uh, the, 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 the police say that they are uh, looking into it, and that uh, at this point, uh, You'll also note that uh, it was the anniversary of the Montreal massacre and detectives say that that actually isn't a coincidence. In the, uh, the threat, he makes uh, reference to the massacre in Montreal. Um, so therefore that uh, made our urgency even that much more greater. We were, because it was December the 6th was the, the anniversary date. We were concerned that he was gonna act on that date. 
Now the teen has been taken out of school uh, and at this point there is a lot of online chatter here uh, basically of, about how people are shocked that this could have potentially happened here. The Toronto District School Board as well, they also sent a letter home to families to explain what they know at this point. As well tonight they made a personal plea to both students and families uh, to speak up. Here's what they had to say tonight. If you are having a difficult time or you're noticing someone else having a difficult time uh, or you notice something online that is very concerning, we want to know about it. Now, detectives say that they believe that, that the boy acted alone. Uh, he made his first court appearance yesterday and he is now out on bail with conditions. Mike? Okay, thanks, Adrian. The CBC's Adrian Chung live outside Oakwood Collegiate tonight.